Duvalier's dictatorship. Elected with the support of blacks, who saw in him the means to fight against mulatto elites, Duvalier immediately imposed an extremely repressive policy. The prohibition of opposition parties, introduction of the state of siege on May 2, 1958, and had received from the parliament the authorization to govern by decrees on July 31, 1958. The Duvalier's regime relied on a paramilitary militia, the National Security Volunteers, named Totomakut, which terrorized the opposition and managed to stifle all resistance. Duvalier pronounced the dissolution of parliament on April 8, 1961, and the United States suspended aid as a sign of disapproval. Faced with the opposition from part of the army, a military plot was thwarted on April 19, 1963, and from the Haitian exiles, who tried several times from the Dominican Republic to provoke a popular uprising, Duvalier reinforced the repression. In 1964, he proclaimed himself president for life, and together with the Tonto Macoutes, launched a bloody campaign against the opponents. 2,000 executions in 1967. Duvalier left nothing to chance. In January 1971, the National Assembly amended the constitution to allow him to appoint his son, Jean-Claude, as successor. When the dictator died on April 21, 1971, Jacques Duvalier became president of the Republic. He was 19 years old, hence his nickname, Baby Doc. He began by applying his father's policies precisely before embarking on a timid liberalization of the regime. The repression and extreme poverty in which the regime maintained the population caused, from the late 1970s onwards, the exodus of the Haitian population to Florida and the Bahamas in particular. In 1966, a popular uprising overthrew Jean-Claude Duvalier, who fled to the south of France. The end of the Duvalier's era was not the end of the dictatorship. Immediately after his departure, a military junta led by General Henri Nafi took power. Lissi Maniga's election as President of the Republic in 1988 was only a parenthesis before a new military coup by General Nafi on June, which was replaced in September by General Pospe Avril, who stayed in power until 1990. He had to face new revolts. His resignation paved the way for elections under international control and a semblance of normalization of political life.